YouTube, it's your boy Zay back with another video. Today, we're gonna get into a story time. So, I haven't done story times in forever. Those were my, like, my first type of videos I ever did on my channel. And I decided to like start bringing them back in at you guys. Um, this is a story that I've always wanted to actually tell. Um, I made a whole song and everything about it. It was like a fun situation that I was in growing up. And I never actually got a chance to tell the entire story. Some good eats, you know what I'm saying? We have some fried uh, fried fish. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Some fried shrimp, you know what I'm saying? And we about to get into the story time. Starting from the very, 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 yeah. very, very, yeah. very beginning. This goes back to high school. Um, this is my senior year in high school. My senior year, I kid you not, I had three PE classes. <laughs> I used to have two. I had so I started off my senior year with two PE classes. By the end of the year, I switched and I got three PE are you stupid or something? You must be stupid or something. My senior year is the year that I realized that I really like playing basketball and I like the sport basketball. Smack! Now, all my friends that know me know that I like to bet, right? I'm really good at betting. I like to bet because I feel like, you know, there's a lot more like mind tricks and things you play while you bet. You know, poker. I've always loved betting, I've always thought betting was fun. I'm not like a, like addicted, but it was always a thing that I would do, it was fun, and I would bet on things, on myself. Very confident, very, 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 very confident. Even when I thought I was supposed to lose. So this is one of those situations where we're in PE, and I'm with my friends, and we're playing with the same team that we usually play with, and there's a guy, for the purpose of the story, we're gonna call this guy a Little Puppy. Okay. So Little Puppy always likes to talk a lot, you know, always likes to show off and flex and be loud and boisterous. <laughs> talk about shit, but he never really backs it up. One day he's doing his shenanigans again. Forgot the pick -up. And he's talking about his shit, acting like he's hard, he got his Robin jeans on with his and his fit and everything, he's all hard, he's all the shit, right? Fresh. And he plays in his jeans like normal. No. He knew he was gonna play hard in PE every day he went to school. This guy was failing, but participated in every single sports activity. He was playing basketball in his Robin jeans, bro. But this is the guy, right? This is the guy. So we're playing a basketball game. I remember how we're really going. I really started remembering after this moment. I know that we're down. Game is 16. They're at 14, me and my guys at seven. Like, you know how people just have good moments? Basketball is, is a lot of um, a lot of skill, but there's a certain aspect of basketball where you can get lucky with baskets. Normally, you're not doing too well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a little streak, a little something. I'm saying he's big body, he sweats, and he smells bad, so he like, he pushes his, his grease chest on you. And like it rubs against your nose, and by the time you look up, he's already laying it up. So it's like he uses his stench and his body odor as a distraction, and his big body and pushing, big body and pushing. Normally, I like to bet, but what's crazy in this situation, he's actually the one that came up to me. Usually in PE, whenever we did do our bets with the basketball game, I approach him about the bet. But I think he was looking for this chance now to redeem himself and to pick a bet that he was for sure gonna win. He was two points away. You're supposed to win. He goes, bet, we win this game. And I'm like, bet, how much you win a bet? I got 10, right? He's like, nah, bet 20. I didn't even have the 10 in the first place. I was lying. Man, that shit was just hanging there, bro. I, yo, I didn't have change in my pocket, but I was betting. You real winners, you real winners know what I'm talking about. I had the winning sensation in me. When I got that winning sensation, I was like, I was all in, even though I knew I didn't have the money. So you know what I did? I got in his head, you know what I'm saying? I talked more. I talked the most shit in that last, the last few minutes of that game. Yeah, I did the whole shit. My boy Lewis, he was on the sides, and I had him recording every dirty shot. I was making him look like a clown. 
I had my man Z giving me the ball because I was just going off. I don't know, man. I just had that rhythm. I had that, that winner sensation in me, dog. We're at seven points, right? We're at seven points. Boom. I asked for the ball. Z give me the ball. I have I have Lewis in the corner recording. Lewis is like, yo, hit that shit, Jay. And I'm over there like, oh. And I'm playing around. Like, I'm not even taking this guy serious knowing I don't have money in my fucking pocket. So I get the ball. I do a boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? Quick little between the legs, you know what I'm saying? Then I get up, Hezo, do some shit that my boy Zeke taught me, put it back between my legs, and 360, never travel, draw it back down, boom, step back, and wet that shit in his motherfucking mouth. Oh shit, oh shit, all his momentum he just had, gone. All his shit, depleted. What? Hey yo, bro, can we go back to 10 for the bet? I can't understand your accent. He was so devastated after that moment. That was two points. I'm at nine. You're at 14. Now I only got to do five. So a bit of drip. Ooh. For those of you who don't know, when the hot sauce drip is when it's ready. You know what I'm saying? Now he had nine points. And I'm getting the ball to my teammate, boom. I believe my boy Zeke came through with something in between the middle. I can't really remember. It's a little hectic back in the back in the days. He came through a little something in the middle. Boom, lay up, clean, you know what I'm saying? Effortless. Boom. So now we at 10. Now it's only four. You know what I'm saying? We're not letting him get this ball back. We are not letting this man get the ball back. He's trying extra foul defense. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Yo, he all up on my chest. He all up on my chest. You know what I'm saying? All that foul defense, that shit not even real, but you know, it's it's so, it's such petty fouls, you can't even call this shit petty, petty. But of course, we still keeping the ball. I get the ball back, I get another one from a dog, Lewis, on the cam, recording it for me, so I go down, boop, boop, I don't even look. Wet that pit, bro. Just clean, you know what I'm saying? Go and follow me on TikTok right now. I'm lit on the TikTok, man. This is, this is a clip of me doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying, like a month ago. Round two. Ooh. Ooh. No. It's, it's just in me, you know what I'm saying? I got a little, like, chill when I saw he was coming back. So this man gets the ball back. He stole it from me, no lie. Shotty, don't do that, bro. Shotty. It was at this moment that he knew. He got me. Bro, stop! He missed the layup, though. So it's okay. It's okay, though. My boy pulled it up and missed the layup. So it was all good. So we got the ball back. We 12 14. We chilling. My boy Zeke from way behind the three point line. Bow! Wet that bit. Everybody like, oh shit. I'm like, so we gonna bet? We gonna bet? Yo, before the game even ended, he was getting high, he was getting high in my face, talking about all that shit. We had a couple floozy plays in between, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna get into all the extra, all the extra mayonnaise, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, man, I get the ball on this, on this play, boom, he steps right up in my face. I just like, yo, step all the way back, I throw a high as hell, I got a super high art, that bitch is flush. Wait, man, get on it, come back, bro. Pretty much splashed that shit in his mouth, bruh. He gave my fucking money. He did give me my $20. And I was on my way. Low key, I never had money in my fucking pocket. I just came up. I got some funny mo moments with my friends. And this is like before I upload YouTube. This is just for us to have as memories. Like, just us with a camera being stupid. You know what I'm saying? So, we watching now. We talking about it. How it was funny and shit. And that's it. And I guess his voice, where every time that they had together, amped his head up. Like, nah, you gotta fight this nigga, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go teach him a lesson. Sign like you gotta really show him something. I think during lunch, so I, keep, I think lunch is what's clicking to me. At lunch, he's like, Yo, seven period, we gonna fight outside on the field after PE. And I have PE seven period, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, nobody knew that there was a whole senior assembly for the senior class picture that's saying seven period. Do we take the pictures and everything goes flash? We waiting after that. And I go straight, boom. Like, yo, instantly after that picture, I'm straight on the field. So, of course, this nigga pull up, boom, hit that nigga right there, pow, hit him in his shit one time, boom. Then that nigga came and fing, I think he fing swung, and nigga, we, we got wrapped up because it was raining and shit. And then it got crazy after that, nigga. I fing fell. Um, 
my friend came and grabbed me and then everybody was on the floor and then my friend got punched by somebody random and it was just a whole bunch of just shenanigans just all at once we're gonna get into where the title of this video comes into play now this is like i think maybe a week two weeks later right it's a party at this girl that we know's house everyone knows this girl all right you ready to go to this party we dabbing everybody up we show up to the party Say what's up to all the homeboys in the front. Everybody, what's up, what's up, what's up? We go into the back, we see all the girls, like, yo, what's good, what's good? Now, out of nowhere, all I hear is, Who the fuck let these pussy ass niggas in here? It's really bad, nigga, get off me, I'm ready to kill this nigga right now. Cause I needed to get that fight, and that first fight was so ass. So I hear man, I'm ready to go, bro. Every girl and they sister, sister, sister. We getting pushed back out the party. No, 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 it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I'm trying to walk in. This nigga does not walk one foot forward, bro. Mind you, this nigga's with his group of friends, bro. They pulled me all the way out to the car. By that time, her mom comes out, the girl for the party. And not even just her mom. Her mom in a motherfucking back. My friend. Sees the bat and is instantly offended. The guys in there don't even know her like we know her, right? But at the same time, her mom was bringing the bat out on us. One of my friends feels disrespected and starts going at it with the mom and f you. And then she gets like really upset. I guess she decides to call her man outside, which is this girl's dad. But this guy comes out on some weird ass shit. This man comes out ready to fight, like off rip. And I'm looking at this nigga like, yo, I'm ready to fight a dad, but I'm already ready to fight. All I know is I went under the first two. And then my phone and you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And then putting my arms back, and then the girls are on the happy on the car. And I was on my car, and then it goes out into the street. I'm not punching the dad no more at this time. I'm looking at my friend still fighting the dad. All I see is my friend take this guy up, and his body froze. His body froze just like this. Right? You know what I'm saying? And drop them on his motherfucking head, slap on the floor. Bah! We was wilding out, we was wigging out when that shit happened. Cause this man really picked up her daddy and dropped him on his neck. After he hit the floor, the man was gone. He was done, he was obliterated. His brother, my other friend, still punching him. And we're like, no, you know what I'm saying? He's done. So now we're fucking scared. They're like, yo, Zach, get in the car. I'm like, okay. But yeah, I got in my Hyundai and I'm skirting. Yo, we're driving down the same street. So it's only one way down the street, you feel me? We're literally leaving that street as the cops were pulling in, bro. I hit the next left and I was doing 100, but I went to the right because I, I knew I couldn't make that left turn. Haul ass at, <laughs> straight down, boom, make the left, boom, straight down, <laughs> to start with them to um, McDonald's. Then her daddy is obliterated, the cops over there, we going crazy, we pretty much like, yo, we gonna end the night here, we gonna chill, go home, catch y'all boys tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's the plan, right? The craziest shit ever. We're talking to the girls at the party and the girl that's throwing the party. Craziest shit is, after we just beat this girl fucking daddy up, she invites us back to her house and we spend the rest of the night up until like 3 a.m. talking about how crazy that fucking night was. As her dad sleeps in the room like that. Yo, that shit was fucking crazy. But you guys need to spam up the comment section. Hit me with any video ideas you guys have. I have no limits as to where I want to go with all my content. I am a Twitch affiliate. So if you guys want to see me play some Fortnite or any other games that you guys are into, yo, this is a clip of me just playing with some of my subs already. What? If you tell, we gon' spread it right. Yo, if you tell, we gon' throw a wrench. Yo, bunch of big ass, break a bank. Yo, back in the bank, bro. Then I'm still big. Go ahead and fuck with my Twitch. Go ahead and fuck with this channel. Hit me with some suggestions, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Ah! If you tell
tell, we gon' spread it right Yo, if he tell, we gon' throw the rest Yo, fuck your bitch, I had to break a bitch Yo, break 